Right guys, so a quick and short video this is gonna be. I um, just wanna show you uh, a turbo kit that I've just finished up for a, uh, a lovely Micra. Um, ignore the fact of how this car looks. This car is our mock-up car, so uh, if you was to order a turbo kit from us, what we do is we make the turbo kit on this car. That way we know everything fits. If you've got some custom requests, um, as we have on this build, which we'll go through in a second, uh, we can accommodate that and make sure it fits to the best of the ability. It's impossible to make a turbo kit without having the car, so um, for our market it's perfect to have a complete car in here anyway turbo kit so yeah we've just finished this turbo kit up for a customer and um, it's been quite a long build this one just because we've been that busy and we've been chiseling away at this in between big jobs uh, but this has got the full work so we'll start off with the important bit which is the turbo so we've got a gbc 2250 which is the baby version of the one that we've got on the time attack micro now the gbc range of turbos were garrett's range of turbos aimed towards small capacity engines now we're happy the one on ours in fact i probably think the one we've got is probably a bit too big for the 1.5 now when this customer contacted us he sort of asked what we suggested turbo wise and straight away i went for the gbc now originally i think i I suggested a GBC 17200 again small turbo rate of 200 horsepower but the customer wanted a minimum of 200 horsepower by the time they got the engine built then the next turbo up is the 20 250. Now I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see the, the manifold there but we've got a top mount tubular manifold, we've got a turbo smart external wastegate. Now an interesting thing with the setup is that the customer couldn't decide whether they wanted a plumb back or an open screamer. Now open screamers are great if you just want to be uh, a loud cunt. Uh, you want to know you want to let everyone know down the seafront or you know in the local Mackey's car park that you're the fucking man so we've done something with this build that we did on the time attack micro is that we've got the option to either plumb the external wastegate back into the downpipe or vent it atmosphere so we've made a traditional screamer pipe as you can see here and then we've also made um this little link pipe here which hopefully you can see upside down goes into the downpipe so the customer can pick and choose where what they want really and then if they are going open screamer they've got this little top hat cap here which goes in the downpipe and seals that off so yeah a uh, neat little solution best of both worlds we did want to put a like a little, little electronic bypass valve in there uh, but we couldn't find one small enough an inch and a half so um, two inches would have been a bit too big and in hindsight there isn't room there to do it so it's probably a good job we didn't do it we've gone for a brushed stainless steel pie cut intake which looks the part now we could have just done some simple 1d bends here which would literally have been one weld but it's boring um it's way too simple to do and this gives it a bit of a, a showpiece look it's something to look at in the engine bay as much as i hate doing pie cuts and fabricators hate doing pie cuts in general this is one of the areas where pie cuts really come into their own um, and are worth doing just to give you know something different in the engine bay we've got a nice short run from the turbo outlet into the intercooler we obviously we've got a, a top inlet to the intercooler over this custom core We've got a nice little bracket that we've cut on our shape oco cnc in house with a brushed finish uh, and that just sort of ties in the slam panel and the intercooler and just sort of you know it's, it's still got a bit of room to move but it keeps this setup solid we've got a nice custom aluminium radiator in there i'm not sure how well i'm gonna be able to show you uh, but we've got some nice hexagon engraving on there and um, that is a, a big core it's slightly larger than the micro one and it also accepts the standard k11 and uh, radiator um, if you're interested in molly's radiators they're not cheap but drop me a message if you're happy to spend a penny or two then as part of the corner package we've got an external oil cooler we've got oil cooler lines around here obviously when we're in the customer's car they'll be bolted up properly and out of the way and um, obviously we've got a couple of p-clips go along here and that, that goes to a sandwich plate on the back of the engine and obviously we've got some nice little neat brackets on here again we've also cut on our shape oco cnc to hold the oil cooler in situ and then the next piece i'm really happy with uh, of course i wanted a catch tank kind of gave me free reign uh, of what to do um, and i had this idea in my head now making a catch tank is easy it's a box some bath 
baffles, put some inlets in it, put a filter on it, simple as that. But every catch tank I see custom ones are just boring. They've just got the same boring flat sides, no detail, no nothing. Okay, they're all well, something nice to look at, but the sides are just boring as fuck. Um, I saw this catch tank on Instagram a while ago, um, before we bought the Shape Oco, and it had all this hexagon detail on it, and I was like, that's what I want. So uh, we basically, we've cut this on our Shape Oco, we've engraved it, and obviously we've cut the, the all the the patterns out to form a catch tank um, we wanted a catch tank and a radiator overflow combo so the front half this round piece here is the overflow for the radiator and then the rest of it is a catch tank we've got a nice foam in foam filter insert inside there and i'm not sure how old this will come off in video but we made sure that the hexagon detailing on this little filter cover plate here matched that of the catch tank and then we've engraved our name into it now one thing you'll notice is other than a tag on the exhaust manifold in fact i don't even think you can see that but the uh, tag on the exhaust manifold that is the only thing that we've got our name with in the entire engine bay why because sometimes you can over brand something and you know if you've got giz fab here giz fab there giz fab here giz fab there giz fab sprayed on there giz fab sprayed on there giz fab on there and it just looks shit and it just looks over branded and to me it takes the appeal away from a build now yes it's free advertising it's free real estate but sometimes it's not all about that. Sometimes it's making something look nice. And then to me, that's the catch tank. People see this, see my name, and they'll want that. Uh, plus, we've also incorporated it into the hexagon design. So another reason why we did that. And then we've got our top intercooler pipe. Nothing posh. Um, interesting to sort of state that we have stepped it up from a two-inch pipe to a two-and-a-half-inch pipe. Just because a two inch pipe up here looks really out of place and looks lost uh, but we also need to run two inch to sort of snake it underneath all the battery tray to clear everything uh, to make sure we're not hitting everything we've got a uh, air intake temperature sensor boss on the back side because the customer's intended to use an aftermarket ecu of this hopefully a how tech if he doesn't i'll slap him and the last thing to look at is the rocker cover Obviously, the customer wants AN fittings everywhere. We've got AN fittings on the oil feed, and we've got AN feeds on the rocker cover for the breather system. Now, we've had to do something a bit different with this, is that usually there is a pipe which comes up roughly about where my finger is, which would have interfered with the intake, uh, and that's for the PCV feed from the crankcase, because um, unfortunately, the PCV doesn't um, go inside the block on these. It's external, and then goes into the engine block. So we've got this sort of T here in this back line and there'll be a fitting which comes down here and then obviously it plums into the pcv on the crankcase and then all finished off in all black stealth fittings so that's that nice short sweet video just sort of showing our latest turbo kit build and um, if you're interested in a turbo kit for your micro um, or any other vehicle to say that get in touch you know we like working on obscure things obviously micros our first love as well as hondas uh, but we like to work on obscure things. We like a challenge at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, if you've got anything you want us to build, get in touch. We'll get you booked in. you got the money. i got the time.